Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you all the latest news from the world of football. I'm your host, John Miller and today we have an exciting recap of the Monday night football game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. The Cowboys defense put on a show, sealing a nail-biting 20-17 victory. Let's dive into the action. The Cowboys came into this game hungry for a win after a tough loss last week. Despite a less-than-perfect performance, they managed to secure the victory and improve their record to 4-2. It wasn't an easy task, but when it mattered most, the Cowboys' defense stepped up. With just two minutes left on the clock, the Cowboys faced a crucial game-winning drive. It all started with three key third-down conversions, showcasing their determination to come out on top. And then, it was Brandon Aubrey who sealed the deal with a field goal. But that wasn't all. Micah Parsons, who had been waiting for his moment, finally got his first sack of the game, adding to the defensive dominance. And to put the final nail in the coffin, Stefan Gilmore intercepted a pass, ending the Chargers' hopes of a comeback. After a week of doubts and questions surrounding the Cowboys, they showed resilience and proved that they're not dead in the water. Let's break down their performance. Let's forget about Dak Prescott's passing numbers for a moment and focus on his rushing. Prescott showcased his versatility by scoring the longest touchdown run of his career, an 18-yard dash. It was the longest touchdown run by a Cowboys quarterback since 2010. Prescott's ability to use his feet effectively adds another dimension to his game. While he may not be a running quarterback, he demonstrated that he can be a threat on the ground. Wide receiver C.D. Lamb had an impressive first half, racking up 84 receiving yards. This surpassed his performance in four out of the first five games. Lamb's body language had been a topic of discussion, but he addressed it and came out stronger. All five of his catches in the first half covered 10 or more air yards, showcasing his ability to make big plays. This is a positive sign for the Cowboys' passing attack. In their first game without linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch, the Cowboys' defense stepped up and delivered a solid performance. Marquise Bell, who transitioned from safety to linebacker, made his presence felt with a tackle for loss and a pass breakup. The Cowboys' run defense, which struggled after losing Van Der Esch last season, held the Chargers to just 50 yards on 22 carries. This is a promising sign for the Cowboys' defensive unit. Now, let's shift our focus to the Los Angeles Chargers, who had a tough night against the Cowboys. Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert faced immense pressure throughout the game, with a staggering 42% pressure rate on his dropbacks. This was his highest pressure rate of the season. The Cowboys' pass rush disrupted Herbert's rhythm, forcing him to scramble and absorb big hits. Despite playing with a fractured finger on his non-throwing hand, Herbert showed resilience but couldn't escape the relentless pressure. In the fourth quarter, with the Chargers trailing by three points and less than two minutes remaining, the Cowboys' pass rush struck again. They forced Herbert into making a critical mistake, causing an errant pass that landed in the hands of Stefan Gilmore, effectively sealing the game for the Cowboys. It was a tough break for Herbert and the Chargers. The Chargers continue to face challenges in their run game. Despite Austin Eckler's return from a high ankle sprain, the Chargers running backs struggled to find success, accumulating just 35 total yards. Apart from a strong rushing performance in Week 1, the Chargers have failed to surpass 100 rushing yards in all but one game this season. It's an area they'll need to address moving forward. So, there you have it, folks. The Dallas Cowboys showcased their defensive prowess, securing a hard-fought victory over the Los Angeles Chargers. While both teams faced their fair share of challenges, it was the Cowboys' defense that ultimately made the difference. Join us next time as we bring you more exciting football news and highlights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos. Until next time, this is John Miller, signing off.